Welcome to our tech troubleshooting series. Today, we're addressing a question that many Jenkins users encounter. Our viewer is trying to transfer jobs between two Jenkins servers using the command line interface, but they're facing a frustrating issue. When they run the command to get help from the Jenkins CLI, they receive an empty response. No errors, no exceptions, just silence. Let's dive into this problem and explore potential solutions together. All right, guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's start by understanding the issue you're facing with the Jenkins CLI. When you run the command, you expect to see help information, but instead, you receive an empty response. First, ensure that the Jenkins server is running and accessible. You can check this by opening a web browser and navigating to the Jenkins URL. Next, verify that the Jenkins CLI jar file is the correct version and compatible with your Jenkins server. Mismatched versions can lead to unexpected behavior. Additionally, check your authentication credentials. Make sure that the user has the necessary permissions to access the Jenkins CLI. Finally, if the issue persists, try running the command with the verbose flag to gather more information about what might be going wrong. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. This user encountered an empty response issue with Jenkins CLI. They discovered that the problem was due to using the wrong address, which pointed to Nginx instead of the Jenkins server. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're experiencing an empty response from Jenkins CLI and your Jenkins is on Linux behind an Nginx reverse proxy, here's what to do. First, open the Nginx configuration file located at etsnx.com. Next, add these entries to the configuration, proxy HTTP version 1.1, proxy request buffering off, and proxy buffering off. Finally, restart both the Jenkins and Nginx services to apply the changes. For more detailed instructions, Check the Jenkins documentation on using Nginx as a reverse proxy. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you and get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.